So, you want to try Gen 2, but you don't want to build it yourself. Maybe you should try Calculate. We're going to look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Welcome to Calculate Linux. Before I start today's review, I wanted to show you the CalculateLinux.org website. And from here, you can get all the information that you need about this distribution that I may forget to cover in this video. But the nice thing about Calculate Linux is this project features several distributions op optimized for two distinct groups of people, home users as well as small and medium businesses that prefer open source to proprietary solutions. Also, Calculate Linux is based on Gen 2 that is well known for its stability and great performance on a broad range of hardware from Pentium Pro to modern CPU. If you download a Calculate Linux or press the link here, it will take you to this page here where you can get BitTorrents for the stable versions. You can get this in any uh, flavor that you want. If you're going to run this as a server, they have that available, KDE, GNOME, XFCE, they even have a media center and scratch disks available as well. Also, you can get these in stages that have all the latest changes. These are updated weekly. I think that is a really nice touch. Calculate Linux, to my understanding, is great for those of you who do not want to build Gentoo yourself. This has an installer that should make it a breeze for you. Some of you are probably asking, why did I choose the XFCE desktop when there is the GNOME and KDE versions? I prefer the XFCE desktop because it is highly customizable. It's very easy to use and it is lighter weight. It uses less resources. Another thing uh, that I really liked about this and something that I forgot about entirely is the fact that not only do you have a panel up here, but you can also use XFCE's panel here to create a dock, which I thought is kind of neat. And you have some quick launches in this to your terminal, leaf pad, you get a dictionary, uh, a media player, audacious for music, you can view images, you get the GIMP, which is the latest version, you get a quick launch to calculator, uh, your LibreOffice Calc, LibreOffice Writer, Pigeon, and XChat, which interestingly opens up into the XChat IRC forum. So if you have any impressions or questions, you can get them answered there. And then, of course, the Chromium web browser. On your desktop, a quick launch to home, or using this icon here, you can quickly navigate into different folders in your home directory. You also get gparted for managing your uh, partitions, and you may actually have to do that. Now, you will notice there is a uh, Calculate Linux installer, and it is a graphical installer, which is nice for uh, people who prefer not to use uh, text-based installers. And then, of course, you have a link to the handbook, which is right here. And this covers everything you pretty much would want to know about this, and with the inclusion of... Um, installing programs and that sort of thing. If you wish to uh, update the system, most of that is done through the command line as well as installing things. That is done with Emerge and that is done in the terminal as well and there is a link to it somewhere here in this documentation. I was going through it the other day and let me see where that is. But the thing is it does cover partition management, installation, and installing uh, on a USB flash the first time you launch it things you'll need to do to update, and where to go to get help. So this is wonderful that they included this on the desktop. Let's have a brief look at some of the applications that you get with this. You get a few development tools, some graphics tools with the inclusion of the events document viewer, which will pretty much open up anything. You get that image viewer, the GIMP for editing, uh, a GT cam digital camera browser and then a scanning tool. You also have a number of tools for getting the most out of the internet with the inclusion of Chromium, 
Clawsmail, Deluge, my favorite BitTorrent client, FileZilla, and a number of other applications, uh, Pigeon Internet Messaging. You also get a remote desktop client so that others can actually access your computer or you can access other computers remotely and provide assistance. It's good that they included Skype with this thing and then of course XChat IRC. A few little programs for uh, multimedia. As I already mentioned, Audacious, the GNOME M player, you get a simple mixer and then the XF burn, which happens to be my favorite burning utility. In Office, of course, uh, they have a, a repeat listing for the document viewer, but you do get the uh, LibreOffice suite as well as the dictionary, which is more than enough for most people. You also get Gparted that they already have a link on the desktop for. HTOP is your, is your task manager, and this is actually run through a terminal. And you can easily just go through here and you can look at all the processes you have running. And if something crashes on you or starts to misbehave, you can easily kill it here. I think this one's the best out of all of them that I've tried. And uh, I really like its functionality. You also get the Thunar file manager included with this, which is what I'm using on my system. Very nice indeed. You can easily customize this, change its appearance and icons using the control center or settings manager, which is located here. You also get a few little utilities included with this. Nothing too fancy, but pretty much stuff for everyday things. Your application finder, uh, bulk renamer, which is great if you have a ton of pictures that you're down, that downloading from a camera and maybe you want to rename all of these to fit certain uh, file name criteria. It's a wonderful program for doing that. Uh, you get a clipboard monitor, disk utility, uh, calculator, leaf pad, notes, take screenshots, especially wonderful if you uh, run into a problem, you get a screenshot of it and you can post that up somewhere so that somebody can help you with that problem. Terminal, X archive wonderful things that come in this okay and pretty much that's it with this it's just a basic little setup just enough to get you started and then you can once you install this into your system you can use emerge to install more items and the nice thing about gentoo is they have a large repository for downloading and installing items bottom line this looks like a great distribution for intermediate users. This does require some use of the command line. Should I do a boot camp series on this? Hmm. I think I would rather do a boot camp series on this rather than trying to uh, go through building uh, Gen 2 because I do know it's going to take a lot of time to build, especially on my single core system. And I, it's going to be a while before I can get a fast enough computer to do some building and that sort of thing. So let me know what you guys think about that, and definitely check out the CalculateLinux.org website for more details.